G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you my round eight uh, team list predictions. Uh, how I think Jason Demetrio will um, put our team list, basically how he'll name it, I should say. So uh, we've got a few injury concerns and a suspension. So Jacob Host is obviously one... I believe it was a leg injury. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think it was something to do with his leg. I could be completely wrong. I can't remember. Uh, I know Hame Selly had a head knock, a pretty bad one. Uh, so I don't know if he'll be back. And then obviously, um, Tane Milne will be suspended for one week. I think we got off pretty lucky there. I thought he might have copped a few more weeks, but I'll definitely take a week off. Uh, for sure, because it could have, in my opinion, it probably could have been two or three. But I'm very happy he took the early guilty plea and he will miss one game. So, my team list. I will just pretty much jump straight in. There's not going to be, other than the obvious few changes, there's not going to be too many more. I am going to name some of the injured players. I will let you know who that is as I go through, obviously. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's jump in and let's kick it off with the backs. So at fullback, obviously, it's going to be Blake Taff. I don't think they're going to make any changes there. Taffy will be at fullback until the trail gets back. Uh, the wingers, I've got the same as last week. Josh Mansour and Alex Johnston. Jackson Paulo is playing very well in reserve grade, but I think Josh Mansour will hold his position. The centres are obviously Stretch, so Campbell Graham. And I've got Isaiah Tass coming into the centres. Now, I'm hearing a few people saying Richie Kanar is going to uh, get back there, but I think Isaiah Tass will get the nod for that. He was pretty good in his debut off the bench, so I think he'll get the nod for that one. Uh, then at 5'8", Cody Walker. That's an obvious selection. He played a pretty good game last week, so I'm glad to see him getting some confidence back. And then obviously the halfback is Lachlan Ilias. Now the front row, this is where it gets a little bit different. So I'm going to bring Tom Burgess back off the bench. I think that's how we're going to line it up. So Tom will join Tavita Totola in the front row with Damian Cook at dummy half. The second row and lock will be exactly the same as it has been. Keon, Jai and Cameron Murray locking up the scrum. And then the bench, this is where it gets a little bit different. So I am going to, I think we will name Hame Sele. I think he will come off the bench. Uh, Sele was very good, um, not last week, but the week before. Obviously, he didn't get much game time last week due to the head knock. So I think he will be named in that number 14 jersey, replacing Tom Burgess as Tom will start. Then I, I've also named Jacob Host. I think Hosty will play this weekend. Not 100% sure, uh, depending on the severity of that injury. I uh, I am recording this on Monday morning, though. It'll probably be uploaded Tuesday morning. So I don't know the severity of the injury. I have Googled it to see. But uh, it's just his, his time frame is to be confirmed at the moment. So for now, I am listing him in my 17-man squad, along with Liam Knight. And finally, I can't remember who it was there. Um, um, Davey Morwell, sorry. Just had a mind blank then. So Davey Morwell will round out the 17-man squad. And uh, I'd probably have Saliva Havili in the 18-man 18th man jersey uh, just for coverage in case Hosty or uh, I've just had another mind. Sele can't play. So that is my 17-man squad with... Um, God, I'm, I'm having a shock today. Uh, Saliva Havili as the 18th man. Boys, let me know, how do you think we'll line up this week? Will Hame Sally be named? Will Jacob Host be named? Who knows? I'd love to hear your opinions. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if something has come out after I have recorded this, I do apologize. But uh, yeah, hopefully the team list is looking pretty close to how I predicted it. Uh, if there, could, there could be obviously some change. We might not see Isaiah Tass come back, but I do. I definitely think he deserves to. Uh, we could see Jackson Paulo make his return or Richie Kanar. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's the team list I'm going with. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.